okay so in this video guys we are going to discuss about a uh, depreciation so i took one of the question paper which was written last year so what i've realized in this question paper guys is that it was there on eastern cape question paper that was written around june and when i checked the final examination i found that this question paper they are exactly the same the same so please make sure that you practice as many as possible question papers and also keep watching more and more videos so that you will gain more principle on how you should calculate depreciation and other related question okay let's check our question that we have so this question paper guys it was a uh, i took the final exam one okay so the company's financial statement of comprehensive income and statement of financial position so basically this question paper contain a question which we are required to calculate income statement and the other part we are required to calculate a statement of financial position okay but the question that we are going to do in this case uh, we have one 1.2.1 which they said you need to calculate profit or loss on sales of delivery vehicle and in number 1.2.2 they said total depreciation for the year okay let's start with 1.2.1 1.2.1 they said we need to calculate whether there was a, a profit or loss when we sell what a delivery vehicle okay now let's check a transaction that is related to this one okay uh, information number a number two roman figure number two we have a fixed asset okay so if you check under vehicle they said an old vehicle delivery vehicle with carrying value of 170,000 on 1 march 2021 was sold for 140 on 1 december 2021 remember when we calculate whether we make a profit or loss we need to compare a selling price a selling price via current value at the date of item that has been sold if we sell it on 3 june we used to, we have to use the current value of that day okay now let's check we have a old a vehicle which was sold by amount of 140 140000 is the one that we have received so now let's compare the value of carrying value it was worth how much in our books okay we have 170 of carrying value but this current value is on 1 march and it was sold on 1 december which means that we have to further calculate depreciation up until that 1 december okay let's take the policy the policy of vehicle they said are depreciated at 20 percent per annum on diminution balance okay then which means that what we need to do we have to calculate depreciation okay let's calculate it this side is gonna be 170 thousand and we multiply by 20 percent okay then after that we have to calculate what we calculate a month okay uh let's count from one march until 31 december it's gonna be how many months it's gonna be if you count you're gonna get nine months my blah by nine over 12. your other question might be why are we using 170 because we, it's diminishing balance method diminishing balance method we use what carrying value 170 is carrying value that they gave us it's not a cost price okay this depreciation is gonna give us let's calculate it's gonna give us 25,500 all right which means that now what we need to do is to say 140 minus current value of 170 but this 170 we need to subtract what another uh, depreciation then it's gonna give us if you do all this calculation you are going to get this these are workings guys 
the final answer i'm going to write it okay i'm going to write it here 140 minus 170 minus 25 is gonna give you uh, 4,500. 4,500. If you check, if you subtract these two, they are going to give you one. Let me verify. Because I just did uh, all calculations. 170 minus 25,500. It's giving me 144,500. If you check, our current value is more than what we have sold for, which means that we sold what what worth more by less price, which means that this one is a loss. We didn't make any profit because it's worth more. Our current value is higher, but we sell it by 140. Okay, now let's go back to the second question. So this is very simple. I hope you learned something. So. Uh, 1.2.2 they said we need to calculate total depreciation okay if you check uh, transaction number before the hacker they said the bookkeeper calculated the total depreciation as three twenty eight thousand two hundred before taking account the two options which means that the other depreciation they are already calculated it okay now we need to write total depreciation before adjustment okay which is going to give us 328200 okay then after that we need to add for Hegel that has been sold. Okay. The Hegel sold. A depreciation we already calculated is this one, which means that we are just going to add it here 25,500. Remember, we are only checking those two transactions because this one we can't read it again for a delivery vehicle that has been sold because we already did it okay now let's read equipment an alarm system costing 48,000 was installed on 1 august 2021 okay alarm system alarm system we need to calculate the precision here they say it is how much 48,000 48,000 multiplied by we use the rate of equipment. Alarm system is equipment. So equipment, they said, is 15% on cost. 15 over 100. And now uh, we need to count a month. From 1 August until our year end of 28 February. If you count those months, uh, August, September, October, November, December, January, February. 7, which means that you are going to say, 7 over 12 okay and if you do you, you do this calculation you are going to get 4200 then after that you need to calculate total of everything and you will get 3 5 7 900 very simple like that so this is how you should calculate your depreciation I hope you enjoy guys. Please don't forget to join our extra classes every Friday and Saturday. Only 6 rand for grade 12 learners. Only 6 rand. Uh, just text WhatsApp number so that you can get a banking detail. Then after that we're going to add you to WhatsApp group. We're going to communicate everything on WhatsApp group. So that at least if you have any question you can also ask. Okay. And don't forget, guys, the study guide is still available. 